Hi, I'm Joe Dames. In this video, I'm going to cover five hot career fields within the computer science area that are going to be hot in 2016. And this isn't based on any scientific research, just based on my own observations and experience living and working as a software engineer in Silicon Valley. I hope this will be beneficial to computer science students or people just starting to study computer science or starting their careers so that they have an idea of what to focus on and what to learn. So number five is web development. And when I say web development, don't, don't just think of a static HTML page. Uh, what's going on in web development now is think about what goes into building a Facebook news feed page, right? That is pulling data from a whole bunch of different sources and a whole bunch of different servers worldwide and putting it all together to display one complete page to the end user. There are a lot of different technologies at play that are all working together to build up one single web page, right? There's data pulled from a database and uh, there's the user interface, user experience. So a lot of different factors come into play. So web development is now becoming fairly complex and there are a lot of different opportunities in that. Mobile applications. Beyond just the obvious of everybody likes to play games on mobile, there actually corporations are building more and more robust and exciting applications and useful applications to boost the productivity and the mobility of their workforces. People need access to anything, anytime, anywhere. And corporations are building mobile applications to just enable their workforce to have access to anything. Number three, big data. There is just a massive volume of data produced every single day in the world. And now people are starting to look at what they can do with that data, how they can use that data to do business more effectively, smarter, and more efficiently. So what companies are doing now is analyzing all this data they have to learn more about their customers, what they buy, why they buy it. Uh, they want to understand the customer better and how the customer thinks and what drives the customer to buy products and how they can better meet the customer's needs. And big data enables companies to do this. So there's a whole selection of, of big data tools emerging that give you the power to analyze all this data that's available. So uh, mastering those tools is a very, very useful skill in computer science for a lot of job opportunities. Number two is security. In the past year alone, there have been massive uh, security problems. Sony, Target are two of the biggest ones I can think of offhand, where it almost drove both of those two companies to bankruptcy. Security is a hot area of focus for every company on the planet right now. And number one is cloud computing. Cloud computing is really a huge paradigm shift in how computing is done. Because historically, things were done completely differently. Companies now no longer need to build out infrastructure to grow or to scale uh, their business or a web service. They can actually scale their business instantly by pressing a button. There are service providers like, like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud that enable companies to not have to worry about all the back-end stuff that goes behind a website and, and an IT system. Now they can just focus on using the software as a service or platform as a service provided by these service providers so they can focus on doing what they do best, their business. And it allows companies to scale much more quickly and to meet the needs of their customers better. So cloud computing is really changing the way things are done. And you might ask, gee, what can I do to learn these things? That all sounds great. Well, number one, you could take a class. If your school offers a class in any of these areas, it's well worth taking because these are skills that employers are looking for. And if you don't get a chance to take a class in one of these subjects, do a class project on it. Do a mobile app for one of your class projects or read a book or website or read a technical paper on any of these topics so that you can learn more about it. You can watch YouTube videos to learn about some of these topics. But most importantly, ultimately, really to learn how to use these things as a computer scientist, you have to set up a development platform and start using it, right? You have to start testing and, and using code and writing and developing your own, your own code on it. And it's not that hard, really. Mobile apps are particularly simple. Web development is not that complicated to get started in. A lot of these things are pretty easy to get started in and learn some basics and then just build on that. So I hope this video has been helpful for you to learn about some areas of real hot growth in the computer science industry. 
And I hope you, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.